Hi, it's Justin. Welcome back to the channel. So this video is a little hack for my Thermarest sleeping mat, which has worked extremely well. So I thought I'd share it with you. Let's get into that. Okay, so if you've been camping with a sleeping mat, it doesn't have to be a Thermarest, it could be any sleeping mat, you probably experienced this problem and it's slipping and sliding. So you can't always find flat ground and even when you can, it still happens. So you end up slipping and turning and the mat ends up down here like this and you're off it like this and you roll over and it ends up like there or down there. We've all experienced it, haven't we? So what I've done is put some grip strips on there and it's not a new idea, but it works really well. So I'll show you in a bit more clarity with the light exactly what they look like and how I did it and maybe you'd like to do it too. The first thing that I did was lie down on the mat and with some little bits of masking tape I marked where my hips and shoulders were lengthways along the mat. Obviously that's the heaviest load points on the mat and you don't need to do anything on any of the other areas and then I applied silicon sealant uh, in the shoulder area and the hip area and I did that in a series of diagonal strips. You can see them, you can see them on the mat there. I'll move the camera around. And you can see those quite clearly this way, but even better, uh, if I turn around here, you'll see the reflection in the sun. That's the hip area. And I just made sure I went in between the foam baffles, that waffle pattern and I used silicon sealant that I had left over from when I seam sealed my tent. So those are the areas that are about 12 inches lengthways for the shoulders and for the hips. And what I, uh, what I made careful I didn't do um, was go put any down the center. You can see that quite well there uh, because that's where it gets folded up and then rolled up and I didn't want the silicon to be crumpled up and rolled uh, and damaged in future through all of the usage. I had a little bit of uh, seam grip silicon sealant left over from when I seam sealed my tent and I had a spare a uh, little angle nosed syringe. Um, so I decided to use a bit and try a couple of samples and they worked really well so I did the whole pattern. Now. You can use any sealant, you can use kitchen and bathroom sealant, I guess, but um, I had this left over and that's what I used. Um, you don't need a very thick bead at all. This little syringe gives a very, very small bead, maybe one millimeter or so across. And I just put it alongside like that, put that to one side and simply with my finger, just, just smoothed it over just like that and left it overnight and effectively that smoothed out the silicon to a very thin film and I just progressed all the way along and did both sides tried to be as neat as I could and the end result was pretty good I had the idea for this uh, by seeing a couple of mats in the shops Although I was pretty unconvinced by the tackiness, the grippiness of the strips on um, the mats in the shops. But when I did the seam sealing with exactly this same sealant on my tent, I noticed, I was quite pleased with how, how grippy it feels. It's not tacky like glue, it's just really rubbery and grippy. And um, I thought it would be perfect for this, this usage and um, so it's turned out. So I tested it out um, just in the house really and it worked pretty well it gripped the sleeping bag very well indeed even though I was rolling over inside the bag the bag stayed still so that was the first bit uh, seemed quite good and uh, then I decided to do the underside as well so this is this is the side that obviously contacts with the tent exactly the same method exactly the same area you can see the silicon reflecting in the sun there and the next thing was to test it 
in the tent and it worked very very well indeed so this is what it looks like rolled up and you can see because I didn't cross the center line when it's folded up there's none of the silicon showing on these folded and then rolled up exposed edges uh, there's a couple of tiny little bits where it went a centimeter or so uh, longer but mostly it's avoiding those high wear edges and eventually that sealant might crack or peel off if, if it's exposed and folded and unfolded loads of times so I was thinking ahead of time and for the same reason when it was folded that way um, before rolling it up I didn't go across the center line and you can see that quite clearly and that's it simple as that really um, it was very very effective I was very pleased I've camped uh, wild camped five nights in it various elevations wind various slopes and lumpy ground and flat ground and I'd, it slipped a bit but not much you know an inch or two and I haven't slipped off left or right my sleeping bags kept straight on the mat so it's a win um, I've seen some people just put a blob or talk about just putting a blob or four blobs but I went the whole hog and put all that on uh, in the first go and I weighed it before and after and it added uh, between 10 and 15 grams so if you're really worried about ultra light you could just put a little bit on and then a little bit more until you're happy but 10-15 grams doesn't bother me so another successful hack and thanks very much for watching <laughs>